Business and labor attorney Seth Berenschweig is with us. Seth, good to see you again. States are already threatening to sue. Do you see this standing up in court or no? Well, it probably will. I completely agree with you. There's going to be a storm cloud coming that will unleash a flood of litigation. And uh, we'll probably see those cases landing as early as tomorrow. However, when you really unpack the issues, and as your reporting has noted, there's really two tracks here. The federal government contractors have a strict mandate, but the big story of the day, the uh, requirement with respect to 100 plus employees for commercial companies is really not strictly a mandate. It's essentially mandate light. The companies have a policy where they can either require vaccination or weekly testing and masking. That's going to make it a little bit easier and a little bit more flexible. It's also going to create less of a burden. And since the undue burden question is part of the legal battle, the courts will balance that as they're going to be determining whether or not this is constitutional and will be effective. Sure, that makes sense. OSHA, though, Seth, is, is putting these rules in because it's arguing COVID is a danger at work. But the critics say the, the virus circulates everywhere, not just in the workplace. What would OSHA have to show to justify the rules? Well, you've definitely identified a major legal argument that's going to be teed up in court. And the way OSHA is going to respond is to say, yes, it is everywhere. But that means that it's also in the workplace. And the mandate, the statutory authorization and the mandate of the agency under OSHA is to provide for the health and safety of the workforce in the American workplace. And as a result of that, in an emergency, even under a, an urgent standard of review, which might be called the grave danger test, they still likely have the authority to do so. So there's there's going to be uh, definitely a drag out legal battle here, but the courts often give deference to agencies when they implement these kinds of federal regulations. One, one more thing. Under the rules, the vaccinated don't have to get tested, even though they can catch and spread COVID. Right. D does that open up OSHA to legal challenge? I think it actually, well, they're open a legal challenge because they're going to really start getting punched in the face probably first thing tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. But I think it's going to make it, at the end of the day, easier for them to withstand legal challenge because you have this dual track. Government contractors have the strict mandate. Commercial companies have a, a little bit of a softer mandate. And as a result of that, it's going to make things easier, not only in terms of a legal challenge, but from a human resource perspective. There's going to be less heat on companies and employees. They'll see it as less mandatory. Mandatory, and hopefully there'll be a, a rainbow at the end of the storm where people will see this as an option where we can have people get healthy and the economy can recover. Hope so. Seth Berenjweig, thank you.